Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, we're going to look at access control lists or ACLs in the uh, ICX 8061 code and there are some substantial differences so um, we have the ability to now insert and delete lines um, and the, the basic format has changed f substantially so let's have a look. So this is a 7150 C12, but again, it doesn't matter uh, what kind of ICX it is. It's uh, across the board difference. So the main difference here is traditionally in the past, if I created an access list, I created a numbered access list, access list 100 for an extended ACL, for example, permit, uh, I, I don't know, IP any any. Okay. So it's going to tell you that this format is depreciated and use the IP access list extended or IP access list uh, standard format, right? But what it actually did for me is it actually did that. Uh, and when I type that command, it converted it for me. But let's just uh, let's just create one from scratch here. So it's IP access list. Um, and then standard or extended. So we'll say it's extended. Um, and you can give it a, a number there if you wanted to, but we'll just, we'll call it, um, you know, list one, just to be really creative. Okay, and so now we can either add our lines as sequences. So up here, it it uh, automatically sequenced that for me. So sequence 10, permit IP any any, or I can just type them in and have it have it auto sequence them for me. So we'll just say permit IP um, 1.1.1.0 slash 24 to any. Um, we'll do three. We'll just add a few lines. Okay, so I didn't put in sequence numbers, but when I go back and look at that ACL, it has auto sequenced them for me, right? So it's called them sequence 10, 20, 30. And the reason we care about sequence numbers is now we can insert a sequence number in between existing sequences or delete a sequence, etc. right? So I could, for example, add sequence 15, uh, permit IP uh, one, dot, 1.2.0 slash 24 to any. And so now I have a 15 there, right? So insertion is as easy as that. Um, so I can insert, I could do a no sequence 20, for example, and it will take out that sequence. Right, so sequence 20 is missing. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can regenerate those sequence numbers, right? So I can say uh, regenerate, if I could spell, there we go. Um, and you can tell it, you could just say regenerate and it will regenerate starting at 10, so they'll, they'll become 10, 20, 30 again. Or I can have it start at a particular number, so we can have it, uh, the number start at 100, for example, and then you can have you can specify the gap between them. So you know we could say a hundred between uh, lines, right? So I'll say regenerate starting at a hundred with a hundred gap between lines. Show run. So it has now made those sequence numbers 100, 200, 300, right? So um, so rather than in the past we had to you know remove the whole a whole ACL and rebuild that ACL or paste in that ACL from scratch if we wanted to insert a line we can now insert or delete on the fly while the ACL is live um, we can re rerun those sequence numbers we can insert a remark um, so lots of flexibility but you know obviously the major change is that numbered ACLs are no longer accepted you need to um, use a named ACL or, you know, a named ACL with a, with a number as the name. Um, but the beauty of named ACLs, of course, is that you're not limited to, 
you know, that, that 99 ACLs for standard or 99 extended, you can have, you know, basically up to the box limit uh, or thousands of named ACLs on a device. Um, so that's it. Um, you know, some, some pretty major changes. However, um, those are excellent changes and, and uh, a long time coming. So thanks for joining and have a great day. Take care.